Okay, so I'm going to show you how to forward uh, X Windows to uh, another less uh, Linux machine, uh, let's say. So I have a uh, Raspberry Pi here. So let's say I want to have run an, a program that runs on Raspberry Pi, uh, Raspberry Pi's uh, X Windows system. So let's say in Raspberry Pi I type in start X and I get the GUI and I run their web browser well I can actually take that web browser and forward that to any Linux machine even Windows but let's do it on a uh, Linux machine so uh, X Windows actually uh, runs uh, input and outputs to TCP IP so on its own system it just input and outputs to uh, the local system so you can actually follow that and it uh, runs on TCP so you can actually follow that through your wireless or your Ethernet I have it, I have it wireless as you can see so wirelessly transmitted to a uh, Linux machine and what I gotta do is uh, once I set it up I just gotta type in uh, SSH and um, the option is either X or Y some some Linux has worked with X and some of them work with Y and uh, C is for compression and the IP and uh, you can put the username if you want uh, I just put in root but you can use not really not a good idea to always use root but just for demonstration purposes I should do that and uh, you see it's giving you a scary message um, and I can just start up the uh, Raspberry Pi's uh, web browser. Okay, this only runs on. You know, it's a specially made uh, web browser for uh, Raspberry Pi, and I just exported it to a Linux here. Okay, and you can see it's still running off of the uh, console. And this is coming from uh, Raspberry Pi. It's coming from right here. Connected to wireless, the Wi-Pi wireless device here. And when I exit it, it brings me back to the prompt. Um, in Raspberry Pi here, uh, the config file is already set for forward. So. Let's see, it's already set for um, X Windows forwarding. Which is this line and this line. Okay. Normally you have to set that manually, but it's already set to the fourth as a third line, but uh, I don't see it here. But for Raspberry Pi, there's nothing you need to do. It's already set to allow forwarding of uh, X Windows programs. So again, there's absolutely nothing you need to do. Well, to do the same in Windows, um, client side, you have to install a program called uh, XMING. And Try to find it here. Let's see. This program here called uh, X X Ming X M I N G, and that just serves as a client. But when you've exported 
when you fold your uh, X Windows um, stuff programs, it'll, it'll uh, show up. Okay, so I got to set up for another machine already, so. So, uh, in, um, in Windows, you s change the settings, and the settings are, let's, let's do it here, so when you open up, uh, putty, putty or putty, depending on what country you're from, and you scroll down to connection, then SSH, then X11, and here it is. You click enable X11 forwarding, and that's all you need to do. And of course, you would go and you, you know, session, and then you save it to whatever you save it to. Yeah, so once you save that, and that's all you gotta do is check that one box. Once you've done that, you can start. Yeah, you know, just type in a, a program that you would normally run in uh, Linux. So, like XIs, for example. Hmm, here it is size uh, you can run K gold wire runner which is a game that runs in uh, KDE and X windows which is not cooperating Just like Windows. Nah. Or, um, okay, uh, let's see, let's see if that runs. All right, nothing runs in Windows. So there's K uh, Gold Runner that runs on uh, normally runs in Linux. Okay, and all I did was just type in K Gold Runner, and it just runs. That's it, and it just forwards it. And what you're actually doing is you're actually running a uh, program. Uh, directly on your remote server. Okay. So instead of running it directly on the server, it's just forwarded to another machine through uh, TCP. So all your configurations and everything is exactly the same as if you were sitting on top of, on your desk. The only downside of that, uh, which is actually a pretty important downside, is that if you get disconnected, the program just crashes. So like if you're running a Firefox, Firefox uh, remotely, and you disconnect, like a, if your modem, your remote modem disconnects or something. Um, it's gone, everything's just gone. So it just crashes. So it's the uh, browser crashes, the uh, server does not crash. So not to be afraid, not to be worried that the server's, server is not gonna crash, your remote machine's not gonna crash, just the uh, Firefox, the 
Firefox that's running on your server will think that if something is wrong, it'll just crash. So, uh, it's one of the downsides. You can also, I mean, you can run the remote desktop uh, X, XRDP uh, if you're interested in uh, teleporting a, a, a uh, entire desktop. And uh, for console, for console, you can actually do the same thing. It's a, there's a program called Screen, S C R E N, and uh, that does the job also. Like if you get disconnected, it you can reconnect. So that's more Linux. I has nothing to do with the uh, Raspberry Pi here. 